Today, we are exploring abandoned barracks, which were part of a Belgium NATO corridor of military bases aimed to provide some air defense during the Cold War using surface-to-air nuclear missiles. The site was used from 1968. Around 1990, the collapse of communism in Eastern Europe reduced the usefulness of such defense system, and it was deactivated, only to be used in an administrative office until 1995. I was not able to find any missile, but we will be able to have a look at the mess, the tavern, the bowling, the movie theater, some classrooms, and even a police station with its cell. When I visited the place, I explored the basements in the hope that I would find some kind of missile silos. At the time, I didn't know that these missiles used to be light surface to air. So, of course, all I found were the laundry, the heating system and some cellars. This building is the biggest one here. You can see the kitchens and also likely the mess, a big room used as a restaurant. You can notice the bar. Remember that NATO, Belgian or American people working here were not allowed to leave the place and go in the entertainment places with people living around here. This is why we find here this bar, what was likely a pub, a bowling and even a movie theater. Remember that I was exploring the basement in the hope of finding some missile related infrastructures. Even if I didn't see any, it was a good idea anyway. And this is how I found the pub that you can see now, and in the following room, the bowling alley which is one of the most interesting spots in this place. You can see here the garages and mechanical workshops. I have no real information, but from the height of the doors I figure that this was used for trucks or armored vehicles, or who knows, maybe by some surface air missile carrying vehicles. I was surprised to find some hay on the ground, however I'm quite sure that no horses were ever used here. I am just guessing, but this looks like some platforms to get tanks elevated to be able to work on caterpillar tracks and other lower parts. In the background, you can see a storage tank, likely used to store fuel for the military vehicles.
In this big building, we will find another highlight of this exploration, the movie theater, including the projection room. The entrance is behind some bushes with a lot of bees, so I really had to cover myself and do a fast entry. The most remote small buildings I eventually explored look different because of the bars on the windows. Actually, this is because these buildings were used for a small police station, even including a small prison, the accounting department acting as a local bank, and some rooms with a counter which may have been the barracks armory. This metal tower used to be the radar tower. It's 27 meters high and likely used to support a number of bubble-shaped radar antennas. It looks quite safe to ascend, but as usual I didn't want to take any chance. But you can enjoy the drone view. This is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day.